Welcome to day 23 of my 365 day vlogging experiment where I'm documenting my business journey and starting an online photography business and growing my personal brand in the health and wellness industry. <laughs> Hi, cilantro. Thank you for making me smile. <laughs> I guess that's one of the many benefits of having an adorable, fluffy office partner. Although sometimes he drives me crazy. He reminds me to smile on days like today when I'm feeling frustrated. Yesterday was a very long day and I focused, oh, I lost the dog. A ton of things planned and I had, ah, come here. You don't go over there. Ugh. Cilantro. Let's try this one more time. Filming outside today obviously was not working out, so I brought it back inside. As I was saying, today is going to be a short vlog update. It probably worked out that I wasn't able to film outside a few hours earlier because I think I was probably just gonna go into a little complaining rant and I'm glad that that didn't happen. I think I got like poop on my shoulders, cilantro was doing stuff he wasn't supposed to be doing, it was windy, and I just got frustrated and shut off the camera and decided to just wait to film this clip. And I feel better than when I did at that moment, so it's probably a good thing that I waited. But basically what I was trying to explain was that I'm feeling kind of frustrated. For the past two days I've vlogged about how I'm getting super clear on my content calendar, how I'm getting clear on my schedule and how I'm gonna do all these things on all these days and I like pump myself up and I get really excited and I'm motivated and I, and I truly believe that it's possible. And then I start doing it, <laughs> I still think it's possible but I'm also realizing that the amount of time I give myself is not always realistic. And I hate this because I knew that it wasn't that realistic when I first came up with it, but it wasn't until I started doing stuff that I was like, okay, maybe writing like 10 different posts in one day is not gonna work. But when I'm actually writing my goals down and when I'm setting these deadlines, I don't take into account other things like, I don't know, life? <laughs> Knowing that I have an appointment that I totally forgot. We had something that shifted from the weekend to today, so I had to do that and I wasn't expecting that. Also things like grocery shopping and maybe cooking dinner, possibly sleeping, getting ready for my sculpt classes, making sure I get my workouts in on a daily basis. I get too excited about what I'm working on and I literally shut everything else out and so today was a reminder that I am still very much on my quest to learn how to integrate work and life and also to be okay when I have to shift some deadlines or shift some plans that I had so I'm still convinced <laughs> maybe I'm just being really stubborn I'm still convinced that I can create enough content for April for the entire month of April like I mentioned I think two or three vlogs ago but I may have to modify when that gets done. So instead of being able to get that done in the next week and a half to two weeks, I may have to extend that into, basically into April. Which is totally fine, it's just, I want it to be done this month, in March. <laughs> and again, I'm learning to be okay with shifting certain plans in order to accommodate the things in life that may come up. And today, I really was just letting a lot of things get to me, like, Cilantro is adorable and I love him and I appreciate him very much, especially like in the beginning of today's vlog when he made me smile. But he can also get under my skin when he's not listening or like extra needy and I'm like, hey bro, I gotta work. And then I have to remember that he's a puppy and how can I expect so much from him? So these are the kinds of things that kind of like get in the way or that I forget that are going to come up during the day that I have to deal with. And that's okay. And I know that one day when I have a team of people, one more person helping me do these things, like having somebody do my edit, having somebody help me film, having somebody do the visuals on certain things, I know that I'll be able to get a lot more done. This is also about learning to be patient with myself and with where I'm at right now in my process, in my journey. It's so easy to focus on how frustrated I am about the things I don't have. Oh, if I had a team, I could do this, this, and this more. Instead of shifting that and saying, these are the things that I have, and this is what I'm capable of, and it makes me happy, so let's keep going. And eventually, I know that I'll be able to expand and do more because I will have more help. Kind of just letting today go. I'm channeling the positivity from other vlogs and from what I know is better for me and from the things that I'm excited about. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow.